You gave us a promise that we could hold on to through, through dark times, through good times, through bad times, when it seems like the whole world is falling apart. You gave us a promise we could hold on to that Christ is coming back. When all the leaders of all the nations of the, of the earth turn their head away from you, when the heathen rage, you gave us a promise that Jesus is coming back. When the world turns its back, when society turns its back, when they make a mockery of your word, when they make a mockery of the blood of Jesus Christ, you've promised us that Jesus is coming back. He will vindicate all things. He will make all things right. He will make all things fair. He will do what he promised he would do, and he will rule this world as the righteous king. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread. And he said, this is my body which is broken for you. And he took a piece of bread much like this. And we see there are stripes on this bread because by his stripes we are healed. And we see that there are bruises on this bread. It looks like, like it was bruised because he was bruised for our iniquities. And if you hold a piece of this bread up to the light, you can see there's holes in it. It's pierced because he was pierced when his body was nailed to the cross. And we can see in the most important thing that there's no leaven in this bread because leaven is a type of sin. And there was no sin in Jesus Christ. He said, as often as you do this, this is my body which was broken for you. As often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. I thank you, Lord, that you allowed your body to be broken for me. That by your stripes I am healed. Father, I thank you that you took my, that Jesus took my sins upon his back. Father, I thank you, Lord, that I don't have to suffer your wrath because your son did. I thank you, Lord, that I, I'm going to be saved from the wrath to come because of the sacrifice of Christ. Jesus said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Let's partake of the body of our Lord. And on the night he was betrayed, he took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. Yesterday we had a wedding here. And I talked about the covenant ceremony. It's more than a contract. Contract is just an agreement. A covenant is a contract that's done in love. Jesus said, this is the cup of the new covenant written in my blood that is shed for the forgiveness of sins of many. Anybody here any, got any sins they need forgiven? Trust in the blood of Jesus Christ. He offers His blood to all of us. There's nobody that He would say, well, I'm not going to give it to you. Oh, no. He offers His blood to all. Jesus, You said that this is the cup of the new covenant written in my blood. As often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. We never want to forget that the only reason our sins are forgiven is because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. We thank God that his blood was shed. Let's partake of the cup. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you, can you play out? Give thanks. Give thanks. Let's see. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks.